Hi parents, soon to be parents, and all guardians, welcome to Life with Little Ones channel. And in our today's video, we will talk about the bedtime blues, how to make every night a good night. So, let's get started, battling the bedtime blues for toddlers, preschoolers. Dear parents, how to make each night A good night for your little ones and for you. I know most parents have experienced the bedtime blues when putting a young child to bed is so stressful and time consuming that it leads to utter exhaustion. Well, unfortunately, a grueling bedtime routine usually wears out the parents, not the child. If you are going through the bedtime blues with your toddler, preschooler, you might wonder if this is normal or if something is wrong with your child. Does your toddler, preschooler stall bedtime with just one more? Like, one more kiss mom, one more bedtime story please, glass of water please, etc. request? Once you have entered the land of just one more, it can be hard to live as you tend to get in deeper and deeper each time you give in. And the result is later bedtime, overtired kids, and frustrated parents. Do bedtime issues negatively impact time or intimacy with your partner? Or do you feel sleep deprived or irritable during the day? Do you dread the bedtime routine? My dear parents, yes, today I want to share 6 tips for getting bedtime back on track. For your information parents, each night children require 10 to 12 hours of sleep. But, sometimes, children may have difficulty falling asleep. Good news! You can beat the bedtime blues with these helpful tips. Number 1. Limit device usage close to bedtime. Dear parents, you have to limit device usage 2 to 3 hours before your child's bedtime. You can substitute screen with a book or puzzles. Number 2. Design a sleep paradise. Remember that your child's sleep environment will influence their sleep greatly. You can create a sleep-inducing environment in which your child feels comfortable and eliminate any distractions. You can block out curtains and sunlight control blinds can effectively keep lights out. And of course, noise should also be kept to a minimum when your little one is sleeping. Number 3, it is important to have a bedtime routine. It is because children find comfort in a routine. The familiar process allows kids to become accustomed to bedtime and help them wind down before they sleep. A bedtime routine could begin with a shower. And it also includes something that your child finds enjoyable like story time will give them something to look forward to. Number 4. Explain with them. 
Why sleep is important? Because kids this age love to ask why. Use that curiosity as an opportunity to explain why sleep is so important. So, for example, explain that sleep allows your body to stay healthy. You can explain to your little ones that sleep gives us the energy to do fun things in the park, soccer, swimming, dance, gymnastics, etc. Number 5. Listen to these parents. Set rules and boundaries clearly. Why? It's because rules make kids feel safe. Parents, keep in mind that kids will love challenge rules, but they count on us to tell them right from wrong, safe from unsafe, etc. And push rules boundaries to ensure that you are there to reassure and correct them. It is important to set rules and boundaries around sleep. Number 6. You must be consistent. This final step is key. You must consistently enforce whatever rules you create so your kids know exactly what is expected. If you allow your kids to break the rules even once, they will know now that if they push and push, they may get their way. So again, it's very important to be consistent. To all dear parents who are watching now, remember that they are in place for a reason to make sure everyone is easily drifting off to sleep on time and getting the sleep they need. And for more information on bedtime battles and other free training resources for tantrums, power struggle, whining, morning dawdling, and more, click the link below description. And that's all for today my dear parents. Thank you for watching. I hope that you liked the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any question, please leave a comment down below. Thank you and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification to get updates. Thank you and have a nice day everyone. Bye!